Hi, Roger Connect, president of Universal Accounting Center. Wanted to share with you a discussion that I just had yesterday after watching a TED Talk titled Two Reasons Companies Fail and How to Avoid Them. It was a great uh, presentation and discussion afterwards about the principles that were brought up in the video. And one of the things that I just wanted to kind of summarize is this concept that, concept that he introduced of balancing exploration and exploitation within business. As we discussed this as business owners and so forth, we were exploring what it is to actually uh, see what opportunities existed as you balanced exploration and exploitation. And obviously in the presentation, he's trying to show that there is a need for both, but there's definitely as you as a company look at exploiting what you're doing, making it better, doing it more efficiently, doing it more effectively, being more cost effective, offering great quality with it, being relevant for your customers. There's definitely an importance there because as a business, that's where you are making your money. But then to make sure that in the future you remain relevant, he obviously talks about exploration, being on the cutting edge, understanding understanding what's going on in your industry, looking for opportunities for you to create, develop, or offer things that are new and unique. And one of the things that I think happens is as a leader, as a business owner, you're responsible to have that forward thinking philosophy. It's not enough that you just through exploitation do what, or exploration, do what you're doing better and be the best in your industry. But it is that component of balancing then also what are we doing next year, five years, 10 years, so that you remain relevant within the business. The other thing that uh, he asked his questions is, how can I run and reinvent my company? It's always basically looking for that change. If you're not changing and evolving, you're dying. And so we want, what we want to do is recognize as business owners, as presidents of companies, our job is to be that catalyst for change and transformation. So he did share uh, some lessons that uh, uh, I think we can all learn from. It's one that we need to get ahead and be forward thinking, not reactionary. And so we need to be able to see these things on the horizon. We need to be reading, watching, learning, and seeing what we can see that's going on around us. Uh, we need to be listening to our customers. We need to be listening to our vendors. The second thing is things in multiple or think in multiple time scales. Um, it, it's basically to say you need to be the one getting some, I think, free time or uh, quiet time to really think things through and not just look at the su surface as to what everything is. It's it's important that we go delve in, and delve deeper, ask the right questions. The third was invite challenges. Uh, embrace them. Look forward to them in the sense that you're above them. You can rise above them. You're going to do better than them. And because of them, you're going to be better. And so I think with that right attitude, you're going to um, uh, approach those situations better. And then the fourth thing that he uh, brought up is being skeptical of success. You can be su seduced by it and presume that because of it, you're infallible. You're, you're not going to fall, that things aren't going to get worse. And so it lulls us to sleep. And so we always want to make sure that uh, we're looking at, even in success, what is the next thing and what can we be doing different, differently and better. So it's that perpetual search that we need to be doing. It's that success trap that we're trying to avoid. So I just wanted to share these with you and simply ask, what two reasons do you feel companies uh, fail? Why do they fail? And is there anything that you can suggest in those two things that you may mention, uh, what it is that need to be done to avoid those. So again, what reasons would you also add as to why companies may fail and what they could do to avoid them? So have a wonderful day. Remember this, business success is universal. So take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.